Echo bag. Echo bag. Echo bag. Echo bag. Echo bag. Well, hello there, beautiful bag lovers. It's Trina. Welcome back to my channel. So, yes, I'm an eco bag fan. I've been using these echo bags for years. In fact, the big one I dropped down a little bit ago was this massive, massive thing from Rootote, which is a, an Australian based brand, which is very popular here in Japan. And I think I've had this for, yeah, close to 20 years. It's pretty gross looking, but it's just fruit and vegetables on the cover and it's a grocery tote, so it served its purpose. So here in Japan, we tend to, especially if you live in the big cities, you tend to shop more often um, because you, there's no parking and depending on where you live, but where I lived in Tokyo, definitely you have to walk with your groceries home on the way home from the station after work and you can't really do a giant shop because you've got to physically carry it all. So it's pretty common to carry a few totes and a backpack and that kind of thing. So this has served me well over the years and it, indeed into where I am today where I can use the normal type of shopping situation where you take your car and you load it up with groceries and you go home. But since the uh, <laughs> hit this year um, it's been a little more difficult to use these kind of uh, bags. They won't, they don't want to touch it or it doesn't fit the cart properly, you know, the uh, the basket and they just won't accept it. And I found a few people looking over to see what other people were doing and they were, they were accepted by the clerks. And I looked a bit closer and found it was because they were bought using these bags that were designed to fit into the cart. So a new store has opened up in town, Tokyo Hands. If you've never been to Tokyo Hands and you come to Japan, you gotta go there. It's amazing. It's one of these catch-all stores. It sells everything from crafts to kitchenware to hobby stuff. It's it's my favorite store in Japan probably. And um, I find just as I was going to see the new store, I looked around the corner at the edge of the Tokyo Hands and noticed that they had one of these bags. So I bought it. <laughs> another bag, yes. Another bag. This is obviously not a high fashion bag. Now, look at the, the Japanese English on this. It's brilliant, isn't it? Gotta love Wasaego. So this little guy has lots of pockets, got a pocket in the front. Oh, and a little card on how to use it. Yeah, okay, I'll show you the, I'll show you a close-up of this. So this is the gist of how it works here. You've got um, a duffel bag slash backpack slash fit in cart thing. And look, that's another use for it too. You can um, put it in your back seat of your car or tie it up on the headrest. That's really smart. It's fabulous. I used it today for the first time and I was able to just have an empty cart with this thing in it and then put my groceries in the other uh, cart, bring the two carts to the uh, check checkout area and the, the, the checkout person just transferred my groceries into this bag. Then I drew the drawstrings, zipped it up, put it on my back and took off. I mean, it's brilliant. No, no back strain from carrying it around. You could carry it as a duffel, but I just elected to shove it on my back. It's brilliant. And it also has side pockets on the outside. Both sides have a slip pocket. On the inside, there is a zippered pocket. So you could use it for more than just, more than just uh, your groceries, but I'm predominantly going to be using it for groceries because I already have other bags for other purposes. So this is living in my car from now on or in my pannier of my bicycle if I decide to shop from, for groceries. It's basically a high-tech nylon shopping echo bag and I look forward to using it more in the future. I have to watch what I say on YouTube now because apparently you cannot say the C word or the P word or the, even the V word. You know what I'm talking about, right? 2020. But I guess people don't want to touch it. Uh, there's been a spike in cases in my area and the um, the clerks, the store clerks are now wearing uh, gloves and not wanting to touch anything. It's understandable. So um, if you use one of these bags, they don't have to touch anything. You can set it up for them. They dump it in there, you're good to go. So I'm very pleased with how that's working out. 
And Echo bags in general have been great. Um, this is my second most recent purchase, this little guy here. It matches my little set of other rice and tall bags I own. Um, I actually haven't used this one yet. I have one other bag that I didn't show you in the in the, in the intro section that I passed on to a friend. Uh, this one here, which is all crinkly, uh, there's a little a little container it goes into. Let me put it in there. Ta-da. In my medium-sized bags, it's pretty common for me to carry one of these around, but usually I just keep the bigger bags in my car for when I do go on a, a shop. They're always in the car, ready to go into the car after I shopped. Uh, I thought this one was Rutote, but it's called a company called Loki. Don't know. This one does not have a little baggie to go into. It doesn't roll up or anything. It just has uh, this kind of contraption here that you roll it up with. But to be honest, this one's so thin and lightweight, I just, look at how small it gets. I just toss it in my bag like that. Echo bags, the way to go, my friend. And finally, in Japan, something I'm very pleased about is they're finally catching up with the rest of the world, particularly uh, trend-setting countries like um, Germany, which have been good at this from the very start years ago, about charging people for plastic bags. I don't know what it's like where you live, but it's been, it's taken Japan forever to catch up with that trend. It's about time, I'm happy about it, uh, because there's so much waste in Japan, I find, for packaging. Uh, it's it's a very much a packing culture. Presentation is often more important than what's inside the package. And you'll and it's, it's a beautiful part of the culture on the one hand, but on the other hand, it's, it's sometimes over the top and unnecessary. So for example, when you buy a pack of cookies, you don't just get like a cookie and uh, a cookie bag, you open the bag and there's like a little plate with your cookies in it. No, each cookie is individually wrapped. And I don't just mean the fancy cookies, I mean for the everyday cookies, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta stop. And I don't see that stopping quite yet, but I'm hoping it will in the future because at least they've taken one step in the right direction. So I just found the website for this and oh my gosh, I think I paid more for it than I should have. They've got some sort of campaign going on. Yes, I overpaid. Bummer. Oh well. They have sold Niju Manko Sugoine. What's that? Uh, I always mix up my numbers. I think it's 200,000? 200,000 bags. Just size. I think they mean a size that's just right. Yeah, so basically less than $30 for one of these, according to this website anyway. Let me know if you get this kind of thing where you are. my new toy here that I wanted to show you and yes I do feel like it's a toy because it's such a cool contraption it's so fun to shop with um, my when I visit Canada my parents they have a different they also do the recycle thing but they tend to carry baskets they actually have baskets that they buy and then they put their groceries directly in that and there and that has only been around for maybe a couple of decades actually, I don't know. But anyway, shopping is different, a different experience in every country. What's it like where you are? What do you do for bags? Do you bring your own? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, Bag Hag signing out. Talk to you later. Mwah.